Okay, here is the second of the two videos showing you how I'm going to create this week's casting. The first video will have shown you the uh, basis, basic techniques that I'm going to be using today and uh, all the explanation is there. So I'm just going to carry on and do the reading. Below this video I'm going to then give the uh, full interpretation that I come up with. I want to give it a bit more thought than just simply seeing it here uh, and I'll post that a little later on today. So here we go. First thing I want to do is to create the geomes. So I'm going to fold the paper like that. Ink this in. I'm already starting to think of the question. Two taps, one tap. So two taps is the first geom, uh, is the first uh, level of geom one. Two taps again. Two taps. One tap, Tristizia. Second geom. Oops. Two taps. One tap. Just two taps. One tap, acquisitio. Okay, and I can create the active transform from that as well, but I'm just going to draw the chart quickly. Drawing these in now, uh, so they going through the center. Just write these in for the sake of clarity. Sun's in sidereal Scorpio today. Okay, so I want to know which house Tristizia is going to go in, so I'm going to use the pen top. So, that's going to go, for me, that's clearly visibly in the ninth house, so Tristizia in the ninth house. Which is Uranus. So, Uranus. Tristizia in Cancer in the ninth house gives me my first uh, geom. So we have Acquisitio in the twelfth house. Jupiter there. So this is one, two, three. It's a square between the two of them. Square between the two of them. So if I add these two together, that's going to give me two, one, two, and a new two. Okay, so this is giving me Rubeus four. This is two new, two new taps at le level four. So this is Rubeus four, and that's going to be an one, two, three. One, two, three. It's going to be Rubeus, which is an aspect of Pluto. Rubeus four is going to appear in the third house. Very interesting. I'm going to write that in just for the clarity. 
Pluto in fourth house. Um, that's what I'm going to be using to uh, create uh, the reading with this week. Of course, when I would do this normally, I would be, ooh, Saturn just flew out of the bag there. Okay, so that's going to be a rogue for this week. I would normally use my gemstones to do this and I would have Uranus as my Seraphonite and I would have my Jupiter which is my Amethyst there okay uh, and I would normally use my dice uh, my die to identify the houses but that's how I'm going to create my reading for this week uh, and Saturn uh, Karcher is going to be my rogue so you'll see the interpretation uh, later on today below this video on this posting. Thanks very much. Hope that's been interesting for you.